What's up, guys? In this video, we are going to assemble the X -ax uh, English. What is that? The X axis um, carriage for this Route 2 CNC machine. But before I continue with that and explain what I've got going on here, parts wise, um, this is the Y axis that we did in the previous video for the gantry system to move back and forth. And I just want to show you these uh, dust covers as well in the file really really neat and they just uh they snap onto your uh, little bolt here and another thing i want to explain to you is uh the bolts here they're three inch bolts five sixteenths the only three inch bolts that ace hardware had at the time well actually still do i went up there today um they only had the three inch carriage bolts in stock um so I ended up using a carriage bolt. That's why I don't know if you noticed it had that little square on there. That, that's a carriage bolt. So um, that would explain that. But you could also, you can take an 8 mil rod, threaded rod, and you can make your own bolts. I, uh, I cut these at 85 millimeter lengths. So uh, later on, I may be taking these 8 here that I cut and replacing those carriage bolts but uh right now it's, it's really it's not making a difference regardless but i would just you know for those experts out there that see that um these are carriage bolts no duh <laughs> i just uh you know i wouldn't go ahead and get it built just so that way i can you know physically see that this thing is legit and then it's working because one thing seen it on uh pictures is one thing. See, that's how I'm assembling this entire thing. It's by pictures. There is no assembly instruction whatsoever. Um, and the guy's YouTube page that designed this, he uh, he has a couple of videos of it actually working in a test video, but he doesn't have any uh, assembly videos. He's got some animations, um, which are pretty good animations. Those are pretty cool. But for the most part, I'm I'm figuring this out as I go. All right, some more um, handheld camera action before I uh, end up putting the camera on the tripod here. Let's uh, explain. Now this part is a little bit more complicated than the, uh, the Y-axis assembly. What we have here is we have these parts here. And from what I can gather, I've got these, uh, when you buy these rods, they come in like three or four foot lengths. So, you know, the eight mil, threaded rod you can just pretty much cut it down to whatever you want so in his parts list he does have uh, let me see this one's a 230 millimeter rod and what I can figure out is I think this is for the uh, threaded rod to move the spindle up and down because it only calls for one of those and it's really um, kind of weird you also need two 185 millimeter 10 mil rods, okay, and those go here, okay. Then this assembly, like this, right, that's going to be sandwiched together. That's going to go on this side, like that, and you can see it even has the uh, nut insert on either end for the uh, threader rod, so we've got that figured out. On the back, um, in the parts list, it calls for two 200 mil rods, which I got these cut down. They would go here, bolt on the other side, like that. Okay. And this part right here, because you can see the bulges out, those are where the bearings go, okay, for the, uh, for the belt. But this is going to get sandwiched in here, so that we're going to slide this in. This is going to get here. It's a bolt on top and bottom on that I'm not too particularly sure where but I would assume probably somewhere around here and looking at the pictures I saw one of the pictures looked very odd and I'm looking through my parts list and I'm like I don't see this part because it calls to print out two of these things here okay and I'm like one of them has an extra added thing for the stepper motor and I'm looking around and I, I'm not seeing it in the file 
and I'm loading them up in the uh, 3D printer software, software and I'm not seeing it. But I did see this piece here that I printed out. I'm like, what is this for? <laughs> well, duh, I figured it out, actually. This part right here goes here for the upper one. The one that goes on top will have the stepper motor and it goes right here and it bolts in right here and that's that's it kind of had me stumped for like four minutes and 36 seconds and that goes like that and push it in and bolt it down so yeah uh, I've got plenty of these nuts and bolts I've got the washers I've got some metal ones here and I've got my trusty uh, 3d printed ones here so yeah let's go ahead and get these bolts um, squeezed into here so that way we can go ahead and put our uh, our bearings on and while you're here this is an um, LM10UU bearing on this piece here that holds the spindle I just wanted to these go here <sighs> all right this piece is making me look pretty damn stupid got it looks like you want to have to um, you know, because this piece right here was on the uh, printer bed, so it, on the edges of the prints, you're going to have kind of like a kind of like a brim or something like that. So, looks like I'm going to have to take a little bit more out. Just like that. And it's got the um, holes here because this part sandwiches together like this, right? And, and then you take your M4 bolt. Oh man, that's a pretty long distance. I hope I have them long enough. But yeah, that's how that part goes together, just like that. So let me put this camera on the tripod and start assembling this bad boy. So yeah, I'm using the other uh, 3D printed washer for this here, and we're gonna make this our bottom piece. They're two pieces are identical, but um, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before I do that, let's go ahead and get these bolts. Now, one of them is shorter than the other on accident, so let's not do that. So we're gonna put the bolt in. Metal washer. The reason I'm using the metal washer is because, uh, so that way when I'm trying to pull this bolt through, I won't have any issues with the friction.
All right, so I am out of 3D printed washers and I'm going to have to print out some more. Oh, what a disaster. All right, let's see. Let's connect to the printer. All right, we are connected. Let's load file. 3D printing. FPV more files. Nut job. Ah! Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Every nut and washer. <laughs> M2.5 lock washer. No, we need M8. So let's grab, go down to M8. There we go. Small washer, standard washer. Standard washer. Here it is. Let's go to copy. How many do I want to copy? Let's do 20. Copy. There we go. Slicer. Let's slice and dice it up. Yeah, I, I could be firing up the bandy cam and do like a, a screen capture of this here. And I, I really should. I mean, this isn't professional at all. So, estimated time is 27 minutes and 58 seconds. Let's print on that. Over to the printer. And... You can see this is the bed here. It's at 41, 42, and it's heating up the bed right here. And once this bed heats up at 60 degrees that I have it set, that's when it'll start heating up the extruder and start printing out my washers. Looks like you get a little 3D printer action um, in this build. I used my uh, one remaining washer I had, okay? But I just want to explain, I had some people leave some comments. Again, I cannot reply to comments and I don't know why. But I had some people asking, you know, is this a good 3D printer or not? Yes. This is a very excellent 3D printer. I have not had a single issue with this 3D printer, not one little bit. It is literally, you know, once you build it, I've got the build videos um, on my channel, it's on a playlist, check it out. But once you get it all built, it is quite literally a plug and play. Like, I ran out of washers, I needed washers, I loaded that crap up, I printed them out. I've got 13 minutes left. My multiplier is at 100. Now, I can go up much higher than that which would speed speed the print up but I'm at a hundred I keep it at a hundred and the advertised uh, rate is at 100 is what they advertise for the speed of this printer I've gone up to 200 
multiple times. And I've still gotten a good print, but um, that that's that's all you. That's what I I've done several times to get some uh, prints done. But uh, yeah, other than that, this is 100% flawless 3D printer. I don't have any issues, not one little bit. And uh, sometimes the trick is to get the print to stick on your bed is to use masking tape. I don't have to. Now, on one of these pieces I haven't showed you yet. I printed this out last minute for this Route 2 CNC machine kit. It goes on here something like this. And I, and I printed it out. No, it goes the other way. I had printed it out last minute because I forgot to print it and I still had masking tape on my bed here and it left this crap here I was like alright no big deal no it goes like that but this piece is actually going to stick out like this and I was like ah crap so I can't get the masking tape off of it but I don't use masking tape anymore so you don't have to but yeah, 12 minutes left. Alright guys, uh, while the printer is doing its thing with my washers, let's go ahead and see if we can't get this part here assembled. So, I've got the LM10UU bearings in there, and it goes together like this. And that's it, that's pretty straightforward. So, I'm gonna take, uh, these are the M4. Yeah, finally we're starting to break these guys out. M4 by 40 millimeter in length. Bolt, okay? So let me go through my collection of crap here and see if I can find my. There we go. There we go. My M4 nuts. Two of those. So M4 bolt, 40 millimeter in length. M4 nuts. Goes through there like that. Here and here, and through Alright, so that's uh, that's not long enough at all. What is going on? No, these are the 50 mil long ones. These are the 50 millimeter long ones. What was I thinking? Did I say 40? It's still not long enough. What's going on? Thank God I went ahead. I got 60 millimeter ones. I got ones that were 60. Like, and it's partless. It calls for um, uh, the biggest ones he had were 50 millimeter length. Something told me to get 60 millimeter length. Wow. Okay, so all right, these are M4 um, 60 millimeter long. Alright, so I'm going to have to go back and recheck that. Something's not right. And another thing I'm not doing is I'm not I'm not putting uh, washers on these. I'm going to go back in the file and I'm going to see if there's uh, M4 washers. So I'm going to I'm going to check that. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get these on here. Alright, so I don't have 
Um, one little oversight I didn't think about was here in my room, I don't have a socket big enough to tighten my nuts down. So yeah, I'm using I'm using alligator pliers, guys. So calm down, chill out. I know it's not the right thing to use, but I'm using them. The uh, spindle holder, the spindle goes in here. This is 52 millimeter spindle, and it's kind of a common size for the size. For the size, it's kind of a common size for the size. Uh, whatever. Then your 10 mil smooth rod. Then your 10 mil smooth rod. Jeez. Wow. Oh, okay, so I had some plastic that was still like bridged across that, so I just shoved it in like an a hole. But yeah, that's your smooth rod. And it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Just like that. It feels nice and tight. Ha! <laughs> Got <he! laughs> Got <he! laughs> Well, not... Uh, wow. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, what I was talking about is there's uh, some plastic... Oh, yeah, see that? Look. See the plastic? I just push it on through. And this part that I'm putting, uh, I'm assembling right now, is this is the part that the belt rides through. Okay, the belt rides through this part. The belt comes through over here, goes down through the stepper motor and its gear, back over the bearing. So yeah, I might have to. Um, modify this part because I just remembered that in the picture it shows a wide bearing or it shows two bearings here
All right, so I've got my uh, my washers printed out again, and I went ahead and printed out M4 washers at the same time too. Look at them; they're so cute. If I can grab it, so tiny, nice little M4 washers. go in the M4 bolt. So that should be pretty good. Um, when I go ahead and I'm going to add the uh, washers to the uh, spindle assembly here. But now that I have my M8 washers nice and done, fresh, Off of the uh, 3d printer I can go ahead and slap them bad boys on here and go ahead and, and try to get this assembly assembled top and my nuts on this part here so that way we can finish assembling this assembly Now we put on the damn nut. On both sides. Screws here through these nuts. And in the build, there are slots where the nuts go through then you put your screw through it and it clamps down holding your rod um, now that we have that let's go ahead and insert our nuts M3 two M3 nuts these nuts alright so this part here and you can see I've got the uh, bolts the M3 20 millimeter bolts attached to it go here just like that and then you can take your Alright guys, 
so now we are going to install this up piece. So this is what we have so far. We have this lovely piece. We have the uh, spindle section. This is the part where our lead screw goes through right here. Which is here. Our lead screw goes through there. Okay. 